Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm just me. If you're not new here, she's still fine. I'm in the same outfit that I was in last time. This may or may not mean that I'm literally filming these back to back. Which I totally am. <laughs> Never said that I made good decisions. Just fun decisions. So here I am. With a Sakurako. Yes, Sakurako and Tokyo Treat came at the same time. I did not do a comparison because they're not comparable. Tokyo Treat's like the cheap snacks, and Sakurako's like the more expensive snacks. So, like I said, not comparable. And, uh, I'm gonna take that moment to remind everyone to please subscribe! Uh, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Patreon. All of my videos on Patreon are listed public, so you can watch them for free. Um, other thing that I was supposed to say? No, that's it. Plugged all my stuff. Okay, I'm good at my own intro. Let's see how we got the skirt go. And it's gonna go here where you can't see. And I'm gonna look over here where I can't see. And I'm gonna open this. Here on top, there should be a card, yes, and a little magazine. The card is a little hello and an explanation of the theme. Look how pretty that is. Uh, I guess I forgot to say, not affiliated, not associated. Sakurako does know I exist, but only because I add them on Twitter all the time. Um, not getting paid for any of this. Uh, disclaimer number two, I have a reading disability. So I do as little reading as possible in these videos. Uh, so I'm not going to tell you what all this says. Speaking of not reading a whole lot, there's a little magazine. The cover has the theme, which is New Year's in Kamakura. It is volume 11, and it is January 2022. Inside we have the little hello, and some information about snacks. little blurbs about all of the snacks that are in the box. Okay, let's just get in. We've got this. Ooh. Is this like persimmon mochi or something? I don't know, why don't you just... Oh, 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 oh! I know that word! Mochi. Mochi. You can read an entire word. It may or may not be because it's my favorite food, but shush. <laughs> Everybody's got to start somewhere, right? Oh, I was right. It's dried persimmon mochi. Very cool. Uh, common allergens are dairy. Uh, made with glutinous rice flour, infused with delicate flavor. This vibrantly orange fruit that is used as a New Year's decoration before being enjoyed. Interesting. Mm. Okay, so first of all, can I just point out that they just gave me a massive freaking bag of mochi. Do you see how many mochi are in here? Not affiliated, not associated. Truly amazed at the amount of mochi in here. Mmm, that smells good. Oh. Gooey, sticky, wonderful mochi. I love to play with it. Okay. So, I'm not sure I've ever actually had a persimmon. If they taste like this, I think I'd like to try a persimmon. 
it's like fruity. And oh, oh no, oh, okay, no. That was too sticky, I couldn't get it off my hands. And uh, yeah, then my OCD took over and I ran out of the room, sorry. So, yeah. I don't really know what a persimmon is supposed to taste like, but these are like, they're sweet and kind of fruity and I don't know, like, I don't know what to compare it to. It tastes like candy, and I know it is candy, but like the persimmon itself has this like cinnamon? I don't know. I don't know. It's delicious though. I really love it. And as for mochi, it's stretchy and it's sticky and it's gooey. This is chestnut, I believe. Yes, chestnut red bean bread. I cannot have chestnuts. So, while the common allergens are listed as eggs, dairy, and wheat may contain traces of peanut, chestnut is a traditional flavor in Japan enjoyed through autumn and winter. So, being as I cannot eat this, it is time to introduce the box. The box is where I put the snacks that I can't, don't, or won't eat. From the box they go to friends, family, people who can eat them. Next. This. Oh, nice! Uh, in every Sakurako, you get a housewares item. These are Sakura Petal Chopsticks, obviously. They are not microwave or dishwasher friendly. I don't think I've ever found a chopstick that's dishwasher friendly. Nor have I ever found a dishwasher that has any kind of place to put a chopstick. They're just, I, they're not compatible. They've never been compatible. Uh, crafted by, I apologize in advance, Tanaka Hashi, which has been producing quality lacquered chopsticks since 1948. Wow. Uh, this beautiful set features the classic imagery of cherry blossoms in either red or blue. So there you go. This. Okay. I've had this before. So Sakurako gives you uh, bonus snacks, which is like, it's a handful of stuff that we've had in previous boxes. This is a bag of stuff that we've had in previous boxes. To save time, energy, and my tummy, I do not try things that we have had in previous boxes. So this is going over here. Next, we've got uh, this thing, French cream, bon, bon chien. French cream, German and or Dutch word, hard enough time with the Japanese and the French. Um, common allergens are dairy, eggs, wheat, and soybeans. May also contain banana. Popular breakfast or afternoon tea cake. This layered German cake, ha, ah, okay, German. Layered German cake is now more prevalent in Japan than its native country. This version is made with fresh cream for rich flavor and delicate texture. Uh, yeah. I don't normally like this kind of cake, but I'm going to try some anyway. Mmm, smells like... like vanilla birthday cake. Hmm. 
like a dense vanilla birthday cake before you put any frosting on it. That's what that tastes like to me. But it's really fun to watch people make it, so Google it. Sweet cake. <laughs> okay. Okay. I love this kind of English. Sweets cake. A wonderful cake was ready. It is more delicious when eating in the family. Please spend wonderful time. I love it. I absolutely freaking love it. <laughs> Yokohama Caramel Ring Cake. Oh my. Um, common allergens, eggs, dairy, wheat, and soybeans may contain traces of peanuts, buckwheat, shrimp, crab, orange, peach, or apple. No, I'm not going to risk it. It is apparently wonderfully moist and indulgent. The string cake is made by soaking the dough in caramel sauce for a fragrant, fragrant and rich flavor. Sigh. This is. Plum and shiso snacks. Uh, allergens are wheat, may contain traces of peanuts, dairy, crab, eggs, soybeans, sesame, chicken, apple, beef, pork, gelatin. Rice snacks are infused with the classic flavor pairing of shiso, Japanese basil, and dried plum. Traditionally, many fruits and vegetables were dried or pickled after the harvest to keep them preserved during the long winter. Oh, I want to try you so much. Traces, you say? Next, we've got this. Okay. Berry shortcake rusk. Allergens are dairy wheat soybeans. Rusk is a popular tea snack in Japan made from twice break twice baked baguette. Uh, version rich buttery flavor berry shortcake. Honestly, it's like someone left a roll cake out much too long. That's what this feels like. That really reminds me of like strawberry astronaut ice cream. I just like the flavor. Hmm. I actually kind of like that. I would, I would buy that. Next. Turtle crackers. But they're not called turtle crackers. Okay, so this is probably one that we've got before. They look like turtle shells, which is why I call them turtle crackers. And I think these ones taste either like soy sauce or just salt. But because I've had them before, in the box they go. Next. This. I did just see. There it is, there it is. Matcha cookies. Allergens are eggs, dairy, wheat, and soybeans. May contain peanuts, shrimp, crab, and buckwheat. 
delicate butter cookies infused with rich matcha flavor. Smooth white chocolate matcha filling. Okay. It's good. The texture's good. It's definitely matcha. If you like your matcha crunchy, this is it. Next, we've got a this. Apparently it is Butter Sable. Sabelle? I don't know, some French thing. Common allergens, dairy, eggs, wheat, and soybeans may contain peanuts, buckwheat, shrimp, and crab. This is a butter something inspired by the wild boar that live around Hakone, uh, beloved spa town in Kanagawa. I'm bad at this. I'm so sorry. Uh, adorable cookie, lovely rich butter flavor. So it's, it's a butter cookie, right? Yeah. Four shaped butter cookie. Mmm. When they said butter, This might almost be too butter flavored. That was very, very butter flavored. It was a cookie texture. Nothing particularly like special about it. It was like a butter cookie, but like extra super butter. Next we've got a rice cracker thingy. Okoge Senbai. Allergens, wheat, soybeans. May contain peanuts, dairy, and shrimp. Inspired by grilled rice balls or yaki onigiri. Somebody's made of rice. Cooked over an open flame, and then toasted and coated with soy sauce. It smells like soy sauce. That was super crunchy. And it's... It does have like a nice toasted kind of flavor. It's got like a nice earthiness. Mm. You can definitely still taste the rice though. It, it almost has like a popcorn-y flavor, but, but it's like a puffed rice flavor. I don't know. It's definitely good. If you didn't tell me that there was soy sauce, I would have just said that it was just salt flavored. Mm. It's really good though. This. Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. It's jelly in a bag. Why is the jelly in a bag? is Shonen Gold Citrus Jelly. Common allergens are citrus, may contain apple, peach, and kiwi. 
So Kuriko Original Jelly is made with Shon Citrus, fruit from Kanagawa Prefecture, also known as Golden Oranges. It's a unique citrus, refreshing and bright flavor, may contain. Huh. Okay, um, I don't, don't try the jellies or anything like that, uh, on this channel. Um, I open three separate Japanese snack boxes, and I save stuff like this up until I have a couple of them, and then I do an episode over on my Patreon, which is always listed public so you can watch it for free. Set that aside for that. That'll give me some time to decide if I'm willing to risk it. Next, we've got a this. Soybean mochi. Uh, allergens are soybeans, may contain peanut, shrimp, crab, wheat, eggs, and dairy. Made with toasted soybeans from Tokachi Plain in Hokkaido. Uh, soybeans kneaded into the dough. Lightly seasoned with salt. Okay. So it's soybean mochi, salt flavored soybean mochi. Soybeans in mochi. Yeah, this. Puffed mochi is just on its own level, man. Mm. That was absolutely delicious. The puffed mochi is like, it's crunchy, but it's also melty. And the soybeans are crunchy and like mostly crunchy. <laughs> they don't melt like the mochi does. It's an interesting contrast. Mmm. Love it. And it tastes like soybeans and rice. But like in a good way. And it's salty but it's not like overwhelmingly salty. Mmm. Next we've got the yellow thing but different. So this is Coco thing in French. Allergens are dairy, eggs, wheat, and soybeans. May contain peanuts, buckwheat, shrimp, and crabs. Shape of a Japanese wild boar. Uh, okay. So this should be the thing that we just ate. But chocolate. It's the same texture and everything as the other one. I don't know. The chocolate's okay. It's not like... Not like a really good chocolate. I don't know. I do not love, do not hate. It's really all I got. It's a weird, like, aftertaste. I don't know. I really don't know what to tell you. It, it's, like, pasty now. I don't think I liked that one. I don't know what the big difference between the two was, but the chocolate one's just not good. And next we've got... Another soybean mochi thing. Because sometimes the Kuriko gives you doubles. Not all the time, just sometimes. And speaking of doubles, there's another, whatchamacallit, 
rice thing. And Inoshima taco rice cracker. Allergens are wheat, squid, octopus, and soybeans. May contain eggs, dairy, shrimp, and crab. Inoshima is a small island off the Shonen coast of Kanagawa. Famous for fresh seafood. And octopus rice cracker. Okay. Uh, I really hate squid, though. So, if it tastes like squid, then I'm gonna hate it. But if I don't try it at all, somebody's gonna yell at me in the comments. It's not like my family or friends are gonna eat it. it smells like a fish market, but like not actually in the fish market, like you're walking past it. No. No. Tastes like squid. Okay. Texture is great. It's crunchy. It's wonderful. There's kind of like a... There's kind of like a heat behind it, like a little bit of spice, but it's not like spicy. And then it tastes like squid. I regret opening that. Next we've got a jelly type looking thing. <sighs> Doesn't matter what it is. Brown sugar kuzumochi. Common allergens apple. This looks interesting. Okay. Shirasu pie. Allergens, fish, dairy, wheat, sesame, and soybeans. May contain almonds, eggs, shrimp, crab, orange, beef, chicken, pork, banana, peach, apple. Gonna eat it anyway. Shirasu are small juvenile fish that feature heavily in traditional Japanese cuisine and are local specialty in Kanagawa. Stretched buttery pastry. And fish, huh? I don't taste any kind of fish. You know those, um, those flaky pastries that are like that, but they're like heart-shaped? That's what that tastes like. Like buttery and flaky. It's not fishy at all. Hmm. Next. This is tea. Sencha infused matcha. No common allergens. Made with organically grown green tea. Blend features matcha cultivated by Mount Fuji for a rich banana. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So it's uh, sencha with matcha. And I did not try the teas in this video. 
Because I unbox three separate Japanese snack boxes and they all come with a beverage, I save up the beverages and do them once a month over on Patreon. Again, always public. Always listed public. And these are two teas that we have had in previous boxes. So I won't be doing those again, but if you go over to Patreon right now, one or both of these should already be up there. And that is everything. Okay. Gravity really wanted to hold that box, so who am I to argue? Okay, I don't think this was a good idea. My mouth feels kind of funny. Are you done? Anyway, um, yeah, I don't think that one was a good idea. But that was everything in January 2022's Sakurako. I am pleased. There was lots of stuff that I could eat, a bunch of stuff that I couldn't eat, some things I just didn't want to eat, and some stuff that I'm going to be eating for days. I love this. I love it so much. Not to throw shade or anything, but, uh... Boxu only gives you one mochi at a time. <laughs> anyway, so, that was everything in Sakurako. Uh, this is the part where I remind you once again to like this if you like this, comment anything at all you want to say, subscribe for new videos once a week, uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter to make sure that you're notified of my videos once a week, and go check me out over on Patreon where I have videos every other week and they're always free. So I guess that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Bye! Damn it, OCD, would you leave me alone for one video?